All right, FAQ number nine. Should we divide over the timing of the rapture? I'll see this in the comments. You know, people say, it doesn't matter what you are. You know, if you're post-trib, pre-trib, mid-trib, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, if you've seen my study on the false god of post-trib Christians, uh, yes, it does matter. You see, because if you believe that God is going to put you through a time where he is pouring out judgment and wrath on the Jewish people, which is why the time of Jacob's trouble is there, um, if you believe that he's going to do that to righteous, saved people and punished righteous along with the wicked, then you're worshiping a different God than I worship. Okay, watch the uh, study that I did on that. You know, the thing of the false God of the post-trib rapture Christians. Uh, yes, it's very important. It's extremely important. And I'm telling you, more and more people are going to, you know, quit on the Lord with this whole thing. Let me just look up a verse here real quickly. Uh, you can look it up in your Bible if you have one there with you. Just to show you the very important reason why you need to stick with the thing of if you believe in a pre-time of Jacob's trouble, catching away of the body of Christ, which is the real term for it, not the pre-tribulation rapture. Let me show you the importance of this. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. I'll read this. For I, am, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. He's righteous, in other words. Verse 8. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. One of the crowns of reward is given to those who are looking for Jesus Christ. Now, only those who believe in a pre-time of Jacob's trouble catching away, they're the only ones that are going to get that, that crown. If you're believing that you're going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble, you're looking for the Antichrist. And you could time the approximate time of the coming of Jesus Christ. Just whenever the Antichrist shows up, Signs of the peace treaty between the Jews and the Arabs there, over there in Israel. So we got seven years. Mid-trib, we got three and a half years. See? You don't love the appearing of Jesus Christ. Now you might say, well, I'd be looking forward to the appearing at you know, the midway or the, or the end of the thing or something like this. I love that appearing. Uh, I don't think you would. You see, because your God is going to be pouring out His judgment and wrath on you for the next three and a half or seven years, depending on what you believe in. Totally different belief system. Completely different. In fact, Roman Catholic, when you really look at the whole thing, it's taught in the uh, catechism, you know, the thing of the church having to be purified, a final time of purification. So yeah, it's, it's very important. And I see this thing too, you know, these people say, it doesn't matter, you know, it, uh, I'm a millennial, it doesn't matter what you believe, you know, you don't have to be pre-millennial. Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, you do. Pre-time of Jacob's trouble, catching away, and pre-millennial coming of Jesus Christ and him setting up his throne and ruling and reigning for a thousand years. That is the stand of a Bible believer. If you're a heretic, then you'll believe some other thing. Post-millennial says man brings in the kingdom and Jesus Christ comes back at the end to see how good a job man has done ruling and reigning for a thousand years. You know, the church, the church brings in this time of peace for a thousand years. I mean, idiocy, excuse me, but it's idiocy. You think that you're going to, you know, Christians are going to be able to bring in a thousand years of peace? Are you kidding me? I mean, come on. You know, what were you born yesterday or something? You know, Christians bringing in a thousand years of peace without Jesus Christ being physically present on the earth to run the thing, you know? And I mean, I have a whole study on the whole premillennial coming of Jesus Christ. It's promised to Jesus. And what's about, what about amillennial, you know? All millennial teaching, preterist, or, you know, well, I, I like to say pre-terrorist, but, uh, you know, preterist belief, which is the Catholic stand, is that all the events of Revelation happened there in the first century, and now we've been in the millennial kingdom with Satan bound in the bottomless pit, you know. We've been there, and Christ ruling and reigning on the earth, well, that's the Pope, <laughs> you know. We've been in the millennial kingdom, peace on earth ever since then, and it's just going to kind of perpetuate itself into eternity somehow or something. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Post-millennial belief, amillennial belief are not scriptural. 
a post time of Jacob's trouble, if you want to say it that way, post trib rapture or mid trib rapture are also for the body of Christ, I should say, are also not scriptural. So should we divide over these doctrines? Oh yes, absolutely. Totally. Because you see, if you don't, you're all of a sudden going to start getting sucked into this post-tribism stuff of prepping, doomsday prepping, and trying to endure to the end to be saved. And you're going to start to preach a false gospel like Scott Johnson is doing now, you know, and has been for a while, you know, and I realize that, you know, I shouldn't have been promoting him. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize publicly for that. You know, see all this stuff, it's, it's bad. And you're not going to get, if you start to fall for this thing and start to doubt the Lord's going to take you out of here before the time of Jacob's trouble, you're not going to get the crown. It only is for those who love his appearing. So, uh, yeah, we should divide over the timing of the rapture. We absolutely should. 